officially make that the landing strip, Hollywood Boulevard is shut down for the Disney premiere of Planes. You played Dusty, and I just found out you were shy. I would. I wish I was shy. I was actually so introverted that I would, uh, I would get panic attacks uh, walking to school. I, I had a lot of anxiety as a kid, a lot of phobias, and yet I wanted to be a, a performer. I knew I wanted to be a stand-up comic ever since I was a kid. So, kind of a parallel to this character. I'm not like the guy that's trying to keep it the things the way they were. A little nostalgic airplane, yeah. old school crop duster. I don't want Dusty to go out and do something new. Just stick to the things you're good at. Hey, you play Dottie, and you're like the loyal friend. I feel like that's how you would be in real life. I am a very loyal friend. You do want me to be your friend. I, I like being a good friend. Um, I like being there for my friends. It's what, I don't have a big family. I'm an only child, so I think by extension, they've, they become my family. Um, and Dottie is a good, She's a good friend. I'm very, very excited. Unfortunately, I'm the only character that doesn't fly. I think it's, uh, I think it's my girth. They couldn't get me airborne. You know what I mean. I play Rochelle, and I'm a French-Canadian pink plane. Uh, pink, that's great. Pink, yes, exactly, like what you have on. And um, uh, I'm one of the many planes that enter this race around the world, uh, along with um, Dusty, who's our lead character. And I uh, immediately become friends with Dusty because I recognize in him a certain authenticity. A-Rod, I posted a picture today of A-Rod kissing himself in the mirror. I think it was the first, kiss yourself goodbye, A-Rod. Uh, you know, we, we get to see. We'll we let him go through the process and we'll, we'll see what comes out on the, other, uh, on the other side. You know, I mean, it's tough. I'm a huge baseball fan. I know Alex well, you know. I think that, uh, you know, we don't want any cheating in sports. And at the same time, that means that I own sports cheating somebody. So that means that you can't want to get out the contract and then give this guy a punishment harder and more harsh than you would anybody else. It seems a little personal. If he deserves punishment, you know, do it accordingly, but don't make him some kind of poster boy of, look, we don't like you. We're going to go harder with, on you than we would anybody else, anybody else. Well, a right, yeah, uh, that is, you know, it's to be expected. I was a Barry Bonds fan, and let's face it, Barry Bonds. Uh, he was using, but uh, I think that it's it's interesting how the, the Yankees have been jettisoning him. You know, let's get rid of this guy because we owe him X amount of dollars. So it's kind of heartbreaking. I, I kind of feel for him because, you know, he's one of 13, at least today, that it has been penalized, and his suspension is the most out of everybody. So anything about A-Rod? How do you feel about the whole thing that came out today? Uh, I'm just glad it's not me. I'm glad I never achieved that level of baseball work. You achieve that, and you can only go down really far. So I'm glad it wasn't me. This movie's about planes, obviously, and I hear you're a pilot? I'm an instrument-rated pilot, so I love airplanes, so I'm excited to see this film. Any kind of crazy flying experiences? Well, yeah, uh, my son is actually a pilot as well, so uh, he's trying to get me to go up and do aerobatics, so I I'm not sure if I'm ready for a parachute. Yeah, it's one thing for your son to be driving, but to be flying, that's pretty crazy. Dad, can I have the keys to the plane? Yeah. I actually took flying lessons, and I was coming in on a Saturday afternoon. It was very crowded, and I was, I'd only have been up in the air about three times, and I had a new instructor, and he was very nervous about the way I was coming in for landing. <laughs> he started saying, get your nose up, get your nose up, you know, and I, 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 I that was my last experience in the pilot's seat. I've had a few bad ones, but I would say recently I was I got stuck next to somebody with the worst BO I've ever I've ever encountered in my entire life. And you know, I've I'm experienced and I've encountered BO in my life, but nothing like this. Is any crazy flying experience that you've had? Oh, flying, yeah. Yeah, I've had cuz I've been flying geez, long time now. Um, yeah, a lot of crazy experiences. Yeah. Can you share any? Well, well, there was one, there was a small plane going over New England, flying from Boston to North Vermont. S uh, blizzard, thunder and lightning, swearing to God I'd never fly again in my life if I got to the ground safely. And, uh, you know, obviously it was okay. And I flew two days later. You're Miss World when you're 17. You're just unbelievable. You do all sorts of different sort of acting. What was it like being in this Disney film? 
Well, um, first of all, it's Disney. Every little girl wants to be a Disney princess at some point. In my head, I'm Tinkerbell, but I guess Ishani was the closest I could come to being that. Um, but it was great. I had so much fun. Um, I think, uh, you know, doing a movie in an entirely closed environment and having to create um, a character in, in a dubbing studio was really difficult. But, but I think it's come out really nice, and I'm excited. I think I do about six voices in the movie, but a lot of them don't have names. They're just kind of like little random voices. And uh, I play Ned and Zed, the two bad guys, uh, the two henchmen for the character Rip Slinger. Now, when you're a bad guy in a Disney movie, you're like, how bad are you? They're not that bad. It's Disney, you know? I mean, it's like, uh, remember the Little Mermaid, Ursula, and they had those two evil freaking eels? Uh, I'm basically the eels in this movie, but the, but they're silly. They're so silly that you're they're almost non-threatening. I am waiting for, for either Clay Hall, the director, or Mr. Lasseter to come and tap me on the shoulder and say, Oh, this is awkward. Uh, you didn't get the memo? Yeah, you've been replaced. No, this is... This is incredible. It's something I never would have thought could have ever happened. Uh, and, and I'm just hugely honored to have been a small part of this, uh, let alone being the bad guy. It's incredible. I know. That's you right behind us. We, we planned it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>